dinosaur, stop trying to bite my hand. You already bit my girlfriend in half. Hey, Junior, what are you doing? Playing with pipe cleaners. Why aren't they called pipe cleaners? Because you can clean your pipes with them. Here, play with a blue one. Clean pipes, you say? Well, I got a two inch pipe it can clean. What's up, dude? What's up, Joseph? Notice anything different about me, bro? Did you get a tan? Nah, dude, you know I'm black. <laughs> I got my ears pierced. What, you got your ears pierced? Don't only girls get their ears pierced? No, dude, guys can get their ears pierced too. It's totally straight, nothing gay about it. Um, Junior, I think it got stuck. Well, Joseph got his ears pierced. Oh, no way, that's so cool. I want my ears pierced. Well, you have to ask your parents, dude. See me? I don't have parents, so I don't have to ask anybody. Well, who pierced your ears for you? Some homeless guy in the alley with a dirty needle. <laughs> well, I'm totally gonna ask my daddy, and I know he's gonna say yes. Hola, papi. Jeffy, don't call me poppy. Well, what do you want me to call you, daddy? Stop talking like that. Um, father, may I penetrate my earlobe with a very sharp device and wear it for fashionable purposes? What? Can I get my ears pierced? Oh, no, Jeffy, you can't get your ears pierced. Marvin, he's 17 years old. Exactly, he's 17. When he's 18, he can do whatever he wants, but since he's 17, he has to listen to me. You never let me do what I want. What's this poking out of your shorts? Don't touch it. <laughs> Son of a biscuit eating what, Jeffy, what, where was this at? It was in my arena! Why was it there? Because it's a pipe cleaner, Daddy, and it was cleaning my pipe. And now it's as clean as a whistle. And the f blow it like one, too. Like, yeep, 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 yeep. What, Jeffy, just go. Go get my ears pierced, or... No, no, you cannot get your ears pierced. Leave! I hate you! Mm. What'd your dad say, Jeffy? He said, no! How do you have time to make that? Why'd your dad say no? Because someone in his Fruit Loops. Oh, I hate when that happens, dude. Oh, uh, somebody did that to me yesterday. I mean, I still ate it, but gross, right? So what are you gonna do now that you can't get your ears pierced? Well, I'm still gonna get my ears pierced. But your dad said no. Yeah, but if you take away the N, it leaves O, which means, oh yeah, do it. Huh, I never thought of it that way. Yeah, so let's pierce my ears. Oh, get the piercing gun. All right, got the piercing gun, dude. All right, Jeffy, what ear do you wanna get pierced? Well, which ear means I like big sausage in my pooper? I think the right. All right, well then strong left. Is it gonna hurt? Well, any sausage in your pooper is gonna hurt, Junior. No, I meant the piercing. No, dude, it'll hurt for like 10 seconds, that's it. Now the blood infection from the dirty needle, that'll hurt. All, All right, right, let's send it. All right, dude, here we go. Ah! I'm just kidding. It just felt like a pinch. Oh, whoa, whoa, what earring are you going to put in your ear? Oh, I got my mommy's jewelry box. So I'm going to go get an earring on that. All right, guys. Check out my earring. Oh, my God. It looks so cool. You want to get the other ear pierced? No, I don't really like big sausage in my pooper. Hey, Joseph, you got your right ear pierced. It's totally straight, dude. A lot of rappers have both their ears pierced, and they're not gay. At least not that I know of. So what do you guys want to do now? How about we play tag? Tag your it. Ah! Uh, tag your it. Tag your it. Ah! Oh! Get back here, Jimmy. Oh! I know, Junior, it hurts so bad. Wait, what's going on, dude? Jeffy's ear ripped off. Ah! We have to call a doctor. No, Junior, we can't call a doctor because my daddy told me not to pierce my ear. And if he finds out that I pierced my ear and I ripped it off, I'm going to get in trouble. Oh, okay, well, let's try to put your ear back on. Come on, let's go to the red couch. Okay. Mm. Ah! All right, Jeffy, we're going to put your ear back on. How, Junior, how? We need something sticky. Ooh, I got some chewing gum. It's pretty sticky. Oh, put, put your gum on the ear. Oh, okay. Ugh. All right, Jeffy, try to put your ear back on. Okay. Oh, no. It's not working, Junior. What do we do? Uh, we need something stickier, like tape. Oh, I'll get the tape. <clears throat> One more piece and done. All right, I just put tape on your ear. Now try it. All right, Junior. I hope this works. How does it look? It looks so good. Oh, no. Well, it's not working, Junior. Okay, we got to think of something else. We really need an adult's help. How about we ask Chef Peepee? No, what if he tells my dad? No, I trust Chef Pippi. He's really responsible. Yeah, he's not a snitch. Yeah, let's go ask Chef Pippi, okay? Okay. <sighs> I'm almost done with Junior's dad's soup. He's been bothering me all day about it. Chef Pippi, Chef Pippi. What do you want, Junior? I'm making your dad's soup. Well, Jeffy's ear came off. Ah! Hey, you better drop his ear in the soup. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Chef Pippi, oh. my soup better be ready. Oh, no, I gotta get the ear out. Man, oh, man, am I hungry. Junior, what are you doing? You know the man of the house has to eat first. Give me that spoon. But, but, Dad, but, Dad, I... Uh, uh, Give me that spoon, I gotta eat first. But uh, I don't think you should eat that. I'm starving. Oh, wait, are you calling me fat? I'm a beautiful woman, God! Who oh, no, he has the ear. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of people calling me fat. I'm not fat, I'm big bone. Dad, please don't eat that. Junior, we need to have the talk. You need to stop judging people based on their bodies, especially women. Yeah, everybody wants a 10. They're beautiful and pretty, but they're boring. They don't know how to cook. Ew, yuck. Get you a two. Yeah, they're ugly, but they'll do anything for you. Yeah, I'm talking about anything. 
<laughs> so get you a two and not a ten. But dad, I don't want you eating this. Good. I have to eat this, Junior. I have to eat this so I don't become a ten. <laughs> no, dad, there's something that's there. Oh, dad, no, please, I'm dead, no, please, I'm dead, dad. Oh, delicious. <laughs> he just ate Jeffy's ear. Oh, no. Did he eat the ear? Yeah. Did he like it? Uh, yeah. It's the secret ingredient. I gotta chop some ears off. Junior, your dad ate my ear? I tried to stop him. Well, what are we gonna do now? Um, ooh, I got an idea. Come on, come on, come on. So what's the plan, dude? I just called Mr. Potato Head and told him to come over, so when he gets here, we're gonna jump him and take one of his ears so we can give it to Jeffy. Okay, okay, I like this plan. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Hey, guys, it's me, Mr. P-Head, here to party. So what are we gonna do? Oh, nothing. Just turn you into mashed potatoes, Drop it, 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 I got the ear. How's your look? It doesn't look too bad. Looks like our job here is done. I'm going home and taking Mr. P with me. Well, why are you taking him? Uh, because he doesn't have ten holes for no reason, dude. <laughs> well, look, your your face actually looks pretty good with the ear. Like you couldn't even tell. Like look over here. Really, Junior? Oh yeah, you can't even tell. That's a fake ear. Hey Marvin, have you seen my other hoop earring? You know the one that I wear all the time, and it looks just like this. Wait, you're missing an earring? Yeah. And didn't Jeffy want his ears pierced? Yeah. Jeffy! I think your dad's calling you. Oh, I'm coming, Daddy. Jeffy, get in here. You shumming me, Father? Have you seen your mom's missing earring? Is it a big gold hoop? Yes. That looks like that one? Yes. I haven't seen it. What? Yes, you have, Jeffy. No, I haven't. You know what I think? Oh. I think you pierced your ear and you wanted to put an earring in it, so you took one of your mom's earrings. Bingo. So I'm right? No, I was singing Bingo was his name -o, and Bingo was his name -o. Jeffy, can I please have my earring back? I'll have it. Yes, you do, Jeffy, and you're grounded until you give it back. I'm sorry. Could you say that again in my bad ear? Why well, you have a Mr. Potato Head ear on your head. I don't have a Mr. Potato Head ear on my head. Yeah, remove it, Jeffy. Ow! Oh, hey, hey, no hitting. Ow! Hey! I said no hitting. Ah! Jeffy, you're missing your ear. Yeah, because someone ate it. What? No one ate your ear, Jeffy. Danny, I know how this sounds, and for the first time in my life, I'm not lying. Someone ate my ear. Then who ate it? I don't know his name, but it was some bald guy wearing bunny slippers. That's a lie, Jeffy. Marvin, what if he's telling the truth? There's no way Jeffy's telling the truth. If Jeffy's telling the truth, I'll write, I like big fat wiener on my forehead. Is anyone missing an ear? I just threw it up. I must have accidentally ate it. Big fat wiener. That's what you said you'd write. Uh, can we get the ear, please? Here. Oh, uh, well, let's call a doctor so we can get your ear put back on. Not until you write it. Big fat wiener. Uh, I will write it, but I think we should call a doctor to get your ear put back on. Marvin, you said you'd write it. And I am going to write it, but I think we should we should worry about his ear. Stop that. I will write it later. I will write it later, okay? We got to call a doctor. I'm going to hold you to it. Hey there, did somebody call a doctor? Wait, what happened to the other guy? Oh, you mean Brooklyn guy? Oh, he's sick, but luckily he keeps his door locked, so I can just go in there and steal his outfits. <laughs> so, what's your problem? What, she need a mammogram? I bet I could squeeze her in. Oh, no, she does not need that. Oh, oh, oh she needs a pap smear. I'm real good at smearing pap. No, are you good at surgery? Uh, well, I mean, I've been inside a few hot babes in my day. Oh, no, no, are you good at surgery? Well, I don't know if you'd call it surgery, but I have rearranged a girl's guts before. No, my son is missing his ear. I'm the doctor here. Let me take a look. Hmm. Your son is missing his ear? Yeah, we're wondering if you could do surgery and reattach it. Oh, well, which one is his real ear, though? It, it, it's this one right here. Okay, well, I guess I can help your son with his ear if your wife helps me with my ear. Rection. Wait, what? what? Look, can you just please put his ear back on his head? Well, I guess. Let's go into surgery. Marvin, how do you think the surgery's going? Well, the surgery was a suck, sis. Danny, it looks like I got a big fat ball sack on my face. Well, you put his ear on sideways. Hey, no refunds. And now that I've held up mine in the bargain, it's time for your wife to hold up hers. Will she be able to dethrone the throat goat from the bowling alley? We'll find out. But if I have to take you home afterwards, I'm going to need some dad's money. Or else I'm not doing it. All right, you need to get out of here. So, Jeffy, can you hear? What? Oh, no, he can't hear out of his ear. Oh, no, I can hear. I just wasn't paying attention. <sighs> well, at least you have your ear back and everything can go back to normal. All right, Daddy, time to write it. Write what? I like big fat wiener right on your forehead. Time uh, to write it. I, I don't have to write it because you got your ear back. No, you have to write it. You said you'd write it. Marvin, it was a deal. <sighs> Hell yeah. How long do I have to keep it on my head? Forever. And if it ever washes off, you got to write it again because that's how wrong you were. <sighs>